A day after being called out by President Obama and other Western leaders for building a secret nuclear facility, Iran took a step today to try and ease tensions, announcing it will allow, on an unspecified date, international inspectors to examine the underground facility. The White House isn't buying Iran's claim that the project is for peaceful uses and is tonight continuing to press Iranian leaders to come clean about what it suspects is part of a nuclear weapons project. NBC's Mike Vicara has the very latest on the story for us. He joins us tonight from the White House. Mike. Good evening, Lester. Iran appears to have been caught off guard by the sudden disclosure of their, their uh, nuclear facility. But even after that announcement today that Iran will allow international inspectors to visit the site, the administration here is still taking a tough line. The president today, back in Washington and enjoying a family outing, one day after joining allies to deliver a startling revelation. The Islamic Republic of Iran has been building a covert uranium enrichment facility near Qom for several years. Today, Iran declared that it would allow international inspectors access to the newly disclosed site, a move quickly noted by the Secretary of State. Well, it is always welcome when uh, Iran uh, uh, makes a decision to comply with uh, the international uh, rules and regulations. But the administration wants more transparency from Iran. In his Saturday Internet address, the president sought to keep the pressure on. But Iran must now cooperate fully with the International Atomic Energy Agency, and take action to demonstrate its peaceful intentions. The site, located in Iran's northwest, is said by U.S. officials to consist of a series of tunnels built under mountainous terrain, whose size and shape suggest Iran had only one purpose, to develop weapons-grade material. It tended to keep it, in a sense, in its back pocket, and if it made a decision to build nuclear weapons, to be able to use it to facilitate that decision quickly. For Mr. Obama, the challenge now is to get Russia and China on board, though the two countries have been reluctant to get tough with Iran in the past. Iran was caught red-handed cheating. Uh, the world knows it. It can't deny it. Russia and China can no longer hide behind a fiction that this is not a nuclear weapons program. The president says a united front is essential if talks between Iran and key powers scheduled to begin next week fail to yield progress. When we find that diplomacy does not work, we will be in a much stronger position to, for example, apply sanctions that have bite. And in an interview to air tomorrow on Meet the Press, former President Bill Clinton says this latest news means a boost for diplomacy. I always think it's a good idea, if possible, to look somebody in the eye and have a chance to have a conversation before there's a total breach. And, Lester, that face-to-face -face meeting next week in Geneva will see Iran on one side of the table facing six world powers, including Russia and China, on the other side. And in the meantime here, the administration says they want to see Iranian promises matched with actions. Lester. Mike Vaccaro tonight, thank you.